So she was just like, had no one to speak to. So in this week flow, I decided to do something a bit different and be more transparent. So we messed up with the client and I decided to talk about it and actually show you what we did wrong. So make sure you check it out. And the reason I did it is because, you know, there's so much content out here by talking about success, about how good business is and all this stuff, people cheating on laptops and laptop lifestyle and all this rubbish that people kind of feed into people. That, but in reality, business is tough. There's dark days, there's hard things that you have to get through, the mistakes everybody makes, even someone like myself with a business and so many employees and so much success that we still make mistakes. So if you're interested in business, want to see more of the real shit, you know, check out this week's video and let me know what you think and I hope you learned something. She bought me quick and mixing up the different products, kiss your problems under my liquor bottle and general like to make a gender generalize the women that I'm sitting next to whispered, oh my god, I think I seen them on a... What's going on? Welcome to this week's video. I am in a cool ass place. But anyway, this is week flow, episode number 14. Hope you're having a great day. So currently, I am in one of my investors' car park garage, just checking out these awesome cars. Uh, we're just looking at our locations for potentially we could do a shoot here, um, create some content, take one of these cars out, um, maybe and do something with that. So yeah, pretty cool. Also, um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Sean. I run a company called Gemflow. We help social media influencers build businesses. You want to know more, gemflow.com. As ever, if you hit subscribe, I got loads and loads of content of business. Um, if you're tired of hearing all the kumbaya stuff about laptop lifestyle and all this rubbish, I want to see some real content and a real company actually doing real stuff. Make sure you hit subscribe, give this video a like, and I'm going to show you what I get up to this week in this works week flow. Baby, bring it over here to the birthday. Baby, bring it over here for some work day. Baby, bring it over here to the birthday. Baby, bring it over here now. She bought me quick and mixing up the different products. Kiss your problems under my liquor bottle and gender like to make a gender generalize. The women that I'm sitting next to whispered, oh my God, I think I seen them on a... My type, but I like if y'all like what... Consumers are changing how they live, shop, and communicate. The curve thing, let your curl hang. Girlfriend, look like everything I'm ever gonna tomorrow. Boy, you just wanna hang with the A-list. Cause some women out and kiss my mother with the same list. You can keep your name, who you came with. Keep it real, it's not my business, but we in it for the same. Girl, I know you using me to make your man mad, though. I think it's cool as f is he coming to scoop you up? It's Gucci, I'm gonna do you remember that pop off, but just. I'm gonna say that. Hey, what's going on? So, um, yeah, I'm just here. I'm gonna make, make this quick clip. It's currently um, half 12 at night. I'm just sitting here working. You know, I just something just came to my mind that just reminds me of back in 2016-17 when I was starting and how hard I had to put the hours in then I'm pretty much in the same mind frame again. I don't know what it is, it's just like I feel so so motivated. Um so currently I'm working on something really big. Can't talk about it, but um it's just keeping me up, it's keeping me up and focused, which is good. Um but I think look ultimately today my company's worth thirty million pounds plus. Um, even then nothing changes. I'm not I'm not relaxing, I'm not thinking, oh, you know, I've made it. Um, you know, I've surpassed probably my goals I initially had in my head. But then I've got new goals. So yeah, sitting here working, nothing is easy. If you're not gonna put in the work, you're not gonna get there. So um and you gotta enjoy it. Like I'd rather do this than watch like Netflix. I'd rather do this than play a PlayStation. I actually bought um I've got a PS4 and uh, I bought FIFA. And I think I turned it on once and that was it. Just all small things like that. Like, you just have to start sacrificing before you know it. Like, even I have to be up at seven. Really, I should go to sleep. But when there's, like, things to do, you just... It's just fun, so... But I should sleep at some point because my bags are getting worse every day. Um, but yeah, enjoying it. Anyway, just me checking in. I'll see you guys in the morning. Just gotta check. What's going on? It is Tuesday, the next day. Um, if you saw the clip last night, um, you know, it was a late night. Um, it was good, enjoyed it. So yeah, back in the office now. Busy day today, busy day. I've got like four meetings. I think I've got like four phone calls and I've still got to like do the stuff that I need to do. So yeah, good day. Um, right now, we're about to sit down with Jessica Oli, our client. You know, we launched the Align app, which I talked about in my last video. Um, so she's coming in to go through that, how it's gone. It's been three weeks since launch. Um, and we're also going to recap in her Oli brand and uh, what's happening there. There's a lot of new stock arriving, a lot of things that are happening there too. So yeah, she's actually been in Australia for three months, so it'd be good for her to um, come in, uh, kind of see how she's doing and then get up to it. So that's the plan right now in this meeting. Um, so yeah, it's time to get to work. 
Just finished up with Jess. Um, it was a very good meeting. Um, ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be, um, but good. You know, I wanted to film some of it, but I couldn't just because we were discussing kind of like her financial performance, 2018, 19, and now 2020, what we're gonna do and what levels we wanna hit. So it was very good. Also the Align app came out and we were just going through that. So yeah, it was very good. Um, haven't seen her in a while. Um, discussed quite a few things. We've got lots to do, um, content to shoot, new features, new things to put together. So yeah, it's a, it's exciting. Um, so But now um, I've got Rambir, actually. I've just told him to come upstairs. We're just gonna sit down here. Um, he's actually Andre Dew, our client's manager. He also manages uh, Pineapple Brat, who's Alice Klomp. Um, he's coming in now. Um, we're currently working on a new project for Andre, so just to kind of discuss some details. Uh, so it should be good. Um, he's just here now, so I'm gonna go and get him, and then let's do it. Just cut a check and all of my commas they disrespect and all of my commas reflect my So what shall we start with that's achievable? Everything foreign and expensive I collect Throwing hundreds up and it ain't even from the stash And there's plenty more where that's from can't afford what I'm on cut Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? Copy Just sat down with the Rambia, it was really cool actually We've just been planning um, different things The biggest thing we spoke about actually was kind of like a YouTube strategy for Andre So here at Gemflow, in Gemflow Media we now help uh, people with the YouTube accounts, create the content, edit the content, come with the strategy, thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna be taking over um, potentially his YouTube, help him grow that. Obviously his new project as well that we're working on. Also he's working on another new project in which we kind of be doing a, a small part of it. So it was a very good conversation, was, um, got that done. Now I'm about to uh, jump into a meeting with 84 World, um, Andrew. He is the manager of our clients, uh, Lisa and Jess. Um, you know, we have a relationship with them, but he wanted to come and speak to me about, um, they have lots of different clients and you know they need different things and how can we help? So I thought, you know, come in, let's have a chat. Let's figure that out. I think uh, some of his clients may need help with um, product, some uh, digital stuff or content or ads, uh, you know, all the different things we do here at Gemflow. And um, so yeah, gonna sit, go ahead and sit with him now. Um, so today is a pretty much back-to-back -back day. Um, I actually pretty much made a mistake that I've booked pretty much every half an hour I've had something today and I'm already behind my schedule and that does kind of stress you out because when you're seeing messages of the next meetings here, the next things here, at the moment obviously I don't have an assistant, I do this myself, but even that, I, it's hard to kind of like chop meetings off because you're in the middle of discussing something and you can't be rude, so um, yeah, it's, it's, a new, it's a new learning curve for me, but um, it was pretty cool, um, you know, this is what it's like, and I'm um, loving it, so yeah, it's time to do the next one. Now I'm standing at the top, used to dream about that Bentley now. If we were to come in and look at it, we would be able to figure out how to make it sell more. Yeah, and, and how to actually start converting. All right, so just finished up with um, Andrew. Uh, good meeting. Uh, he was actually telling me about like a certain business that they have, and they've kinda, it's kind of gone well, but now they want to like level it up. And it feels like we can do, we can essentially come in and do our gem flow thing. Um, so yeah, it was cool, um, enjoyed that. It's currently, I think, 5.30, haven't eaten any lunch, um, so yeah, busy day. I've got a phone call now that I need to quickly make. Um, yes, I actually forgot, um, it was actually meant to be a half five and it's half five now, so yes, I need to, I need to do that. And then um, we've got um, Alice Klomp, Pineapple Brad from the US, she's actually here at six o'clock. So then I need to jump in with those guys. I actually have never met her face to face, so that should be fun. I'm gonna sit down with her and do a deep session. Get right back to that door. I'ma give it all I got, all I got. Like 23, I stay on top, stay on top. I do it like it's my last shot, my last shot. We grinding every day, ain't no other way. I'ma give it all I got, all I got. Like 23, I stay on top. What's obviously is crazy is that how much like website traffic you get. It's not normal. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, not much people convert from Snapchat, even yeah. though the audience is bigger. Dripping like a mop, I go hard, I never stop. Got Versace on my flops. You see diamonds when I talk. I got bands, that's all I need. I got Louis on my sheets. Work so hard, I never sleep. Two drunk smoking by the beach. Got a naked on a yacht. She get it. Nice to see everything come together so nice the other day. Please don't break my heart, but I can't never let no thought. I'm too busy chasing guap. I blow bags when I go shop. She can't wait for me to drop. I'm the man, bitch, what you thought? This money bring a whole lot of holes. It's suicidal every time I lift my doors. I really, it's more about figuring out what is it, guys, you want to do, right? You want to build an app? What are you trying to do with your brand? And then how does an app fit into that to then figure out what the feature should be and what it should be, right? Because here at Gemflow, that's pretty much what we do. So we started building an e-commerce platform from the ground up. 
So we build that first. So all the websites and everything we do, we do it on the, on our own e-commerce. Team is growing, new investment round, like the whole thing is, is, is full on happening to be honest. So we're in a great time at the moment. Um, yeah, and you know, to be fair, I just keep meeting cool people to work with and it's just kind of been like that. I couldn't imagine doing this shit when I was broke. Cool, why don't you tell me a bit more uh, about yourself, what is it that you want to do? Basically, the two separate interfaces. You'll have your own account manager to help you and work with you on like building and keeping the app at a good level. So we review all the analytics, we review like you know where people are leaving. Today we're probably about 15 times that now, um, you know, to two years later. So you know I've been through the journey many times. With So just finished that call, it was very good, there's an influencer in LA and she wants to do a bunch of things. Um, so I'm going to introduce the introduce her to the team and let, we can get going. Now I'm about to speak to a guy named Bobby Vincent, I can put his profile over here. Uh, again, he's actually a, um, a fitness influencer, he DM'd me a couple of weeks ago saying that you know, he's looking to take his brand to the next level and he obviously knows all about Gemflow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a call with him now, let's see what it's about. Cool, well, look, thanks for getting in touch, um, do you tell me a bit more about what's going on and then once you're happy with everything we go live and the site comes together all right so it's wednesday it's the end of the day um it's been a been a busy day um let me first tell you about yesterday so we had a client of ours her name is pineapple brat on instagram her name is alice i'll put the profile over here um she was actually down from the us i never met her face to face um but it actually didn't go well it didn't go as planned so you probably saw from the title of this video I'm gonna get into it now. So basically, she is uh, she was unhappy with uh, with Gemflow, with what we're doing, and obviously that's really upsetting for me personally. And, you know, when I'm when I'm making these uh, in my week flow videos, I want to be open and honest with like kind of like shit that doesn't go well or things that you need to improve. It's not everything is not amazing. My company is not amazing at everything. That's just false. So I'll tell you what happened. We had uh, somebody leave, and once they left, uh, they're meant to introduce you to the next person who's going to take over in terms of managing that person. So in this case that didn't happen so she was left with basically um, she had an account manager that person left and then nobody has been nobody got in touch with her so she was just like had no one to speak to and internally we missed that we missed like to make sure that hang on what's happening and secondly we messed up in terms of um, keeping keeping her up to date um, kind of working on her brand so she launched something last March with us and since then she hadn't launched anything new so, you know, that is not what we do here at Gemflow. That's not what we should be doing. So, obviously, a huge lesson for me. So, firstly, how do I handle a situation like that? Because I kind of just walked into it. You know, I didn't really know that she was going to come out with that. Um, you know, firstly, obviously, I had to apologize. Then I had to explain to her why. But then more importantly, like, you know, what we're going to do now from this point and moving forward to reassure her. It essentially was that because of that, you know, it kind of demotivated her to even, like, grow her business because she felt like she didn't have the support of Gemflow to do that, which is not true. So... Um, so yeah, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a huge uh, thing for me to hear that and, and figure out what we're going to do. So obviously then I spoke to the team and now we're going to work on that. You know, it's I reassured her that it's things will improve. Let's put a better process in place. Um, let's create a better line for communication. You know, if, if you're happy with a WhatsApp group, let's set that up. So it's easy conversation. Um, so that, that, was, that was the biggest thing there basically um, to, to, um, to do. But yeah, then, you know, meeting ended very positive. It was very good um, and yeah, that brought me to today, Wednesday, um, I got into work and uh, just been um, doing some stuff with the guys but firstly I had a meeting with um, a jewellery brand. So as you know we only work with influencers but there are some small brands just are like our friends or people that we know or somebody needs some help, that's in my nature just to help them out. So you know, she is somebody that I know, she has a jewellery brand and she currently posts everything from home. I was like, that's just crazy. Like, let us just put it in our, in our warehouse and we can do it for you. She also wants to run some ads. She has some guy running ads for her for 600 pounds a month. And I think this, they spent 600 and made one sale. So like, need to like cancel that guy. Like we can do that shit for you way better. Here at Gemflow, we're currently having five to one average return. Obviously I put my returns on, 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 on my story all the time. You know, and you can see what we're about. So I said to her, look, we'll do it for you, no worries. After that, I jumped into a meeting with a guy that I used to work with about four or five years ago. Um, just kind of catching up with him, he's actually working on something new, which is kind of like a mental health like app. So he just he wanted some advice on how he can grow that. So that was a good meeting. Um, that moved on to um, a meeting I just had now, which is also amazing. It was actually a, uh, a he he sold he's built and sold two of his companies. Um, absolutely amazing. 
And um, I was just saying about what we do. That was a good meeting. I wish I filmed all that for you guys, but sometimes when you're so into it and with some certain people, even though this is like a thing that happens a lot, like, you know, in, in the industry, it's still a bit strange to like sometimes film something that when you're having a deep discussion. So I think a lot of influencers are cool with it. Business people are not so cool with it. So yeah, that was that. Right now, I'm back on the desk, just caught up with all my stuff. Um, and um, yeah, so today is Wednesday, if you don't know. So on Wednesdays, I do a Q&A &A on, on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, your questions have been coming in, which is great. I quite, I quite enjoy this because it's a chance to just answer people's actual questions. And so if you have a question Wednesday, make sure you're on my Instagram and uh, literally ask me a very particular question. Don't ask me like how to make money how to grow my business like ask me a more particular question because i have the experience i can actually help you out so uh, so yeah i'm gonna sit here now do some of these and then head off home so let's get to it so okay so we have a question here how do how shall you approach and develop a cost effective online marketing strategy um so yeah the answer is that essentially you got a test so let's answer it right now so the best way I would say to d develop this is actually just to test. So test email marketing, test Facebook ads, just test, test all of these things as cheap as possible as you can. That's the only way to know what's effective for your product, your service, your niche. There isn't one answer, so the answer is test. They didn't want to see me when they met, I made it off the block. The whole city know I'm high. I'm the shit and they can stop it. This money bring a whole lot of hoes. Different mentalities, my favorite part of touring this You want the balcony to go dig and might have scouted out can be behind the seats and how you say you looking out for me. I did the math if one pull up and one pull drugs so and one go nut. What my doing entertaining? She oh, yeah. said, I don't know, I guess I didn't think that far ahead. Probably should have called the head. Johnny did, Barbara said, Let me know, let me know, let me know when you get back. Let me know, let me know, let me know when you get back. Let me know, let me know, let me know when you get back. Take my feet up in this bitch, I'm so relaxed, so relaxed, yeah, I stay around the street like cold to sex I just want to see my people on the map, niggas claim they for the people, but they act, I'm really rolling with my city on my back, so where they at? Really, yes, I till I die for the city, could I really roll well ride to the die, I'm LeBron and around in the block, and the mind was a barricade to me, I'm out the Miss Brown. Get knocked at the drop of a dime, no niggas in my city, they be cocking and now I'm rocking and shit, knocking and stop at the ground, I kill this riff, playing, I'm robbing you blind. Hold about paper, not worry about hating, they giving me negative energy, and I just sent back the finger, gun. Have a play. I'm All right, so it's Friday. It's the end of the day. It's actually quarter to eight right now. Um, it's pretty much it's been a good week. It's been a good week. I've been slightly not in the office. I've been slightly focused on doing some stuff, um, and I need I needed some space. What happens with me a lot now is with the team being this big is that when I come in, people need some help on this thing, that thing. There's so many different products you're working on, and like it kind of just snowballs. Um, so I kind of just took a bit of time to work on a few things. What I'm working on actually right now is our next funding round. Um, I think I just posted about it on Instagram as well um, today. Um, so yeah, lots to do for that. Obviously, I have a lot of experience now. I've done, I've done multiple funding um, funding rounds in the past for Gemflow. Um, and this time I have uh, Carl, a CFO, also helping me and he's very experienced. So Quite cool working on that, thinking of like next year, the year after, the year after, what's gonna happen, looking at the industry, looking at stats, what we can do, how things have grown and stuff. So it's super useful. Um, I think in that I've touched upon in my post, but essentially you gotta put a whole financial model together. You know, you gotta know exactly where you're gonna spend the money, what's gonna happen. You gotta look at um, previous stuff and be able to make projections, um, hiring different offices, new cities, where we're gonna grow the business, marketing, there's just so much to think about, so yeah. I've been really enjoying that. I've been really enjoying that. And um, I think there's been some late nights too. I think, you know, I've got this in this video earlier. Um, besides that, today um, I was in the office. I had a second interview with somebody. Um, we've hired a new marketing manager. Going to be working across um, one of our clients to take that brand to another level. Um, also, I had a call with um, our new uh, PR manager who's actually starting on Monday. Her name is Charlotte. So I just kind of caught up with her as well. Um, so she's primed and ready to hit the ground running on Monday. Um, so yeah, good week. Hope you like this video. Make sure you hit subscribe. There's so many people like creating content which is just like uh, full of shit that you know that, oh, this is what business is like, that you are chilling, it's not stressful, it's easy. It's just not, not the truth. The, the truth is that it's, it's the hardest thing you'll ever do, but it's rewarding because it's something that you actually want to do and believe in uh pretty much so you know 
that was the main reason I set this up, this week flows that I'm doing, give you a bit more insight into what a business really looks like. So if you like it, you know other people that love business, make sure you share my content with them, hit subscribe, like this video, and um, I'll see you next week. Oh, yeah.